Many people uh, asked me, of course, it's a common question, and I had it too in my 20s, what are the kind of different ramifications, or what's the thinking, for example, in Buddhism, or in yoga, or in meditation circles, about do, do you have to convert to be a Buddhist, or to meditate, or do yoga, and chanting, and so on, or uh, listen and study with the Dalai Lama. Can you be more than one religion, you know, like the uh, Jewish Buddhist, small Jewish Buddhist movement, or Zen Catholic movement, and so forth. Um, the Hindus, as we lovingly call them, the Jewish yoga teachers, etc. And I think all of this is possible today. We live in a melting pot country. We have melting pot karma, so we have melting pot dharma. We don't live in a valley in the Himalayas where we don't know what else there is even in the next valley, and our great-grandparents are in the same religion as us. On the other hand, it's good to make a commitment and go deeper when we're ready to. So, Buddhism is not a religion per se, as much as an ethical, psychological philosophy of awakening, a way of enlightenment, a way of a joyous, beautiful life here and now for us and others, and protecting the life and pl whole planet. So anybody can benefit from and get enlightened by walking such a path of enlightenment, of compassion and wisdom through mindful awareness and good deeds. Anyone can become a Buddha or enlightened a male or female, young or old, smart or dumb, Buddhist or otherwise. And there are many rabbis and priests and nuns and so on who come to my retreats and other retreats and um, further this spiritual life and consciousness development without converting. So this is very possible.